Lane's Central Mitch Road. And to honour and pay respects to our ancestral elders of the past. And to honour and pay my respects to our elders of today. And welcome to the Bar Canoe Launch. I hope it plays. <laughs> the canoe project came about because we had on Bundanon what was called site works where it was a linking between science and art and craft and this came out of the fact that Diego <coughs> and I were doing something on ethnobotany and ethnobotany is where plants in interact with humans and where humans interact with plants and so when we were looking at Aboriginal usage of <coughs> plants we knew they used the bark off trees for the canoes so we decided we must do it. I'm going to ask Deborah to uh, name our canoe. You'll notice we don't have a bottle of champagne but we have the Aboriginal equivalent of it which was uh, they used bangalows to fold up into water holders. So you can see the bangalow how it's been folded there. <coughs> the Bundanon Nawi. <laughs> So Maui means canoe and Bundanon means deep valley. valley. So this is the deep canoe of the deep valley. Into canoe of the deep valley. Right. Probably for thousands of years uh, the Aborigines used bark canoes like this one on the Shellhaven for fishing, crossing the river and so on. When we come to about 1812 where George Evans set out from um, Jervis Bay with him, there was an Aboriginal yeah. called Bundle. Oh, okay. Oh, good day. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so when he got to the Shell, when they got to the Shellhaven River, Bundle helped them build a bark canoe. And with that bark canoe, they were able to um, get all their goods carried across the river. Yeah. Wow, Just take it out, let's bring it back in. <laughs> What's that? Yeah. We're all going to have a go now. Oh, wow! Woohoo! <laughs> Unreal. What's a fool like? Right. Good water line on it, too. What? It what has, too. It? It's got a great. Not water. much mention was made of the, how, how Bundle built the canoe. It was just you know, Bundle and us, we built a canoe with Bundle. But I think it was um, very important when you look at it because. The amount of knowledge that Bundle had, he had to be able to cut down the bark off the correct tree and know how to put it over a fire and bend then fold the ends in, how to seal it up. Most Aborigines used beeswax and the resin from the grass tree. But apparently this all happened in six hours and that's why people around here was asking us how long it's going to take to build our canoe. We always just say six hours. By the way, ours took eight hours and we didn't take anyone across the river. Canoes with fires in them. Yeah, yeah, I've seen those. <clears throat> I think, Steve, what were you going to do? <laughs> Re replicated with ten canoes like this in Botany Bay oh, yeah. with their fires going. Yeah.